Hello game crafters, welcome back to the Unit Tutorial Defense Masterclass, the platform where we construct and conquer our very own gaming world. In our first episode, we set up the movement for our enemies. In episode 2, we're adding another layer of thrill. We're spawning our enemy, escalating the challenge to a whole new level. Ready to crank it up a notch? Let's dive in and populate our battlefield. Okay, so let's start by adding an empty game object. Right click in the hierarchy panel, create empty, and let's call that spawner. Spawner, great. Uh, now we need to position the spawner uh, at the beginning of the path. So for me, it's 0, 0 0.5, and I think 2. Yep, Um. great. So why do I put 0 0.5 on the Y? My actual enemy that I want to use is a ship. So if I can find it, yep. So this would actually be sitting something like that when we're spawning it. Um, you can adjust the variables as however you want, but for me, this is good for now. Now, in the script folder, we can right click and create a new c -sharp script and let's call it spawner now wait for it to compile and then we can drag and drop the spawner script into our game object that we just created and then we can open up this code great so we're gonna start by adding a private Um, actually no, let's do a public game object and we need to give this spawner script what we want it to spawn. So I will just call it enemy prefab. Now, like in the enemy controller script we created in the previous video, we need the waypoints. So we can do a public list of transforms and let's call it the same waypoints we will be changing the enemy controller screen so that this becomes private and we also do not require this statement anymore so this if statement and we should also delete this set destination now we're gonna make a few more changes here but for now this is okay um let's go inside the start method and in here we can make use of a function called invoke repeat this function will call another method repeatedly so basically let's say we're gonna have a method called spawn and we want it to start after one second and we want this method to be called every half a second. Great. Now let's remove this update method because we don't need it and we can make use of some performance. And let's create this method. So void spawn. We don't need to pass anything in. And inside the spawn method, we can in instantiate a game object. So game object enemy equals instantiate. The first argument for this is our enemy prefab. So what we want to instantiate the the vector tree position it asks us for is actually the transform that position. So wherever this point is. That's where we want to instantiate the enemy. And we don't actually need a rotation, so I'll just do quaternion.identity. Great. Now, we need to call some sort of a method from the enemy controller so we can set the destination in this waypoint. So for now, I'll just do set destination. Actually, no, because this is a game object so we need to first call get component and we need to get the enemy controller 
and then we can actually call a method from the enemy controller but we haven't created it yet. so let's just call it set destination here and actually pass in the waypoints now back in the enemy controller script we can create this method so we need a method uh, which is public uh, set destination and it has to get a list of transforms let's call them also waypoints oh i forgot to put the return type here so it should be type void and inside we can assign the waypoints we are getting to the waypoints that are in this object so basically we do this that waypoint equals waypoints now let's not forget that we also need to know when to run this um this logic here so we can add another private uh, bool variable so private bool and let's call it um waypoint set yeah waypoint set equals false and in the set destination we need to update that to true we do not need to update it back to false because once it reaches this logic the object is gonna get destroyed anyways so in the update method we can just do if waypoint dot set um actually no let's do if not waypoints that set so if the waypoints are not set yet we don't have to run anything so we should just return now let's check again the code to be sure everything is fine but this is fine and yep no issues here now back in unity we need to assign the enemy prefab so in my prefabs folder i have the enemy bomber um you might have other enemies so you just drag and drop the enemy prefab here and let's just lock this for now in the inspector and you can just take all the waypoints you have and drag and drop them here now you can just start off so the spawner has the waypoints the enemy prefab is positioned so let's just give it a try and see what happens okay our enemies are getting spawned and they are moving correctly let's check in the scene view yep they're going to the waypoints and yep right from the point thank you for tuning in if you found this video useful hit the like button share it around and subscribe for more if you're interested in state machines or animations you can check one of my other videos Stay connected, keep learning, and I'll catch you in the next one. Happy coding!